Thanks for tuning in. I'm Karen Lair with a look at the top news headlines for Saturday, August 11th. Boise police are looking for a Nampa man after a stabbing Friday night near Road Skate Park. Police were called to the area around 10:15 and found an adult man with multiple life-threatening stab wounds. After interviewing witnesses, police have identified their suspect as 30-year-old Michael Rucker of Nampa. Anyone with information on where Rucker may be staying is urged to call Crime Stoppers at 208 343 COPS. When you think of pollution, you might think of cars and trucks, but have you ever stopped to think about how wildfires affect our health and ecosystem? Luckily for us, scientists have, and thanks to the National Science Foundation's We Can study based in Boise, we have more information on how much air pollution wildfires cause. Scientists say they found the amount of carbon monoxide emitted was in the thousands of tons per hour. To put that into perspective, that's equal to the amount of pollution from the entire state of California, where coincidentally, they found pollution from fires over there are affecting our air quality as well. If you'd like to see the full story, just head to sixonyourside.com. Well, Idaho is following a national trend with high school students. More women than men are deciding to pursue their education in gra after graduation. And the gender gap is significant. The Idaho State Board of Education found last year 52% of women compared to 38% of men went on to colleges or trade schools. Education leaders point out this is an economic issue as Idaho needs people trained for jobs of the future. The state's current goal is to have 60% of all 25 to 34 year olds complete a post-secondary degree by 2025. Now, Steve Liebenthal with Beyond Your Side forecast. And after a record shattering Friday when we hit an afternoon high of 110 degrees at the Boise Airport, Saturday somewhat cooler, well, somewhat less hot, let's put it that way. We've made it into the triple digits again on Saturday, but not likely to get there Sunday. And in fact, for the next seven days, we are not likely to hit triple digits. Our temperatures on Sunday will be right around average. Cold front will move through Saturday evening overnight into Sunday morning. It will pick up our winds and bring more moderate air into the picture. So our afternoon high on Sunday will be right about where we expect it to be this time of year. 92 degrees. That's right on for average for the date. 96 on Monday and the temperatures stay in the mid to upper 90s throughout the work week. Slight chance of a thunderstorm showing up on Wednesday. We just dodged the triple digits later in the week and by Saturday it's sunny with an afternoon high of 96. For the latest news headlines and up to the minute weather forecast, go to sixonyourside.com.